always good to take a break, regroup, come back fresh with new ideas and new topics and things to talk about. I try to keep it fresh and engaging as much as possible. So let's keep on moving with this topic, the topic of representation. Montel Vontavious Porter, better known as MVP, has something to say. He has something to say on June 21st, 2024. He said... The, the Hurt Business is not coming back because Triple H said no. That's what he said. He said Triple H said no to the Hurt Business, so don't expect the Hurt Business to be showing up. Um, This article I'm reading, giving credit to Wrestling News. The Hurt Business is officially in the past based on the comments made by MVP. The Hurt Business was made up of Bobby Lashley. MVP, Cedric Alexander, and Shelton Benjamin. It was a beloved faction in the WWE that was one of the rare highlights during the COVID-19 pandemic era. It's still a pandemic, by the way. This was the last time where Lashley was the WWE champion while Alexander and Benjamin found tag team success. The WWE broke up the Hurt Business in 2021. They kept Lashley and MVP together. MVP would be the manager of Lashley, who was pushed as a top star. They did have a brief reunion in 2022 before MVP sided with Almost, who began feuding with Lashley last year. The Hurt Business is officially done for now as Benjamin is gone and Lashley, MVP, and Alexander are still with WWE. Um, Alexander is probably in the worst position possible. He's supposed to be with Sha- Ashanti Adontis. They had one vignette where they was trying on clothes and figuring out what their tag team was going to look like, and then it just disappeared. Ashanti the Adontis is actually a very good wrestler, although his style is terrible. Cedric Alexander is a former Cruiserweight champion when they had the Purple Belt and 305 Live. I'm not really understanding why they're not giving these guys a chance or opportunity. Meanwhile, you pushing DIY. That's a different story for a different day because I'm completely confused by that. Um, Lashley, they put him, was going to put him in a feud with Bray Wyatt, rest in peace. And that fell through. And Lashley never recovered. Never recovered. Floundered. Put him with the Street Profits and Old Girl. and And that's floundering. I don't understand what's going on with them trying to make a faction and build it around Bobby Lashley. B-Fab is the name, with Bobby Lashley, but it's not taking hold. Um, Benjamin's floating around on the indie scene working with folks, and MVP is... I've been to... We, the last um, WWE live show we've been to was... I want to say it was a SmackDown. We had really good seats. And... They use MVP and almost as the main event or like a special attraction. They're never on regular TV. Almost is almost like an ambassador to WWE, kind of like, uh, uh, what's his name, who um, fell up under the, the ring. Y'all tell me his name if you remember it. The one who used to say, worldwide? You know what I'm talking about. Um, continuing the article... Below, uh, but, uh, MVP shared a photo of the group causing fans to speculate that he might have been teasing his return. That's not the case. He noted in the comments, Triple H said no. When asked by a fan about the group coming back, he noted that it's over and the powers that be made it clear. So, here are the tweets. I'm going to read them. First tweet. Can't believe Vince fucked this up. I assumed it was him. Triple H had the power to fix it. That is what MVP said. This person said, can we get the Hurt Business back? MVP said, Triple H said no. Next one, should have kept y'all together. Damn you, Vince. He said, Triple H had the power to fix it. He chose not to. Go figure. Next one, Triple H era is emasculating black men. I'm really hating it. MVP said, you see it. Next one, as much as I would love to see the Hurt Business back on TV, the only way I want it, if it's Shelty is back on, which is Shelton Benjamin, and the Hurt Business without him, once he's back, let's run it back. MVP said, 
That's the only way. The current regime doesn't want it either. Next one. What noise do we have to make for the hurt business to happen again? MVP said, none. It's over. The powers that be made it clear. Next one. You got to talk to Hunter, Nick, and William and get the band back together. Bobby Lashley, Shelton Benjamin, Cedric Alexander. He said, MVP said, we did. He said, no. Next one. Somebody like you doesn't get to be a world champion. That is a quote that Triple H said to Booker T during their feud heading into, I want to say, was it SummerSlam or WrestleMania? Either way, Booker T should have won that belt. But the damn dialogue that was written was so racially charged that it's burnt in a lot of people's minds and it left a really nasty taste in a lot of the black American um, fan base. I remember uh, Triple H said, yeah, with your nappy hair and your suckers and stuff, somebody like you doesn't get to be world champion. And he, he made it, he said it clear. that It was no alluding. He said, you don't get to be world champion the way you look and act. You're a clown. That's what he said in so many words. They said, it's your job to make people like me laugh. That's what Triple H said. And they said he meant that. And MVP said 100. Threw up a 100% emoji. Okay? Um, here's my thoughts. Here's my thoughts on it. There are valid points. WWE has a very difficult time booking multiple black men. We're talking about black men in positions that show them in the light of male dominance. Sometimes the black man in the WWE has so much charisma that he overpowers whoever's in the ring with him. Bobby Lashley is no reason why he's not at the top of the card. None. He don't even have to fucking talk. But for some reason, when Vince was in charge, he saw it fit to name dildos after Bobby Lashley instead of pushing him the, the way he needed to be pushed. Right now, he's floundering. I'm completely confused by his booking. Um, Scott Hall, no, Kevin Nash. Even said it in his podcast, the representation for black males, for black boys and girls to look at, is lacking. The only representation that they seem to always put on TV for black men is our truth our truth at this point has dementia. He don't know what the fuck is going on. He's literally a joke. All he does is crack jokes, act like he's completely confused about what's going on, comes out, raps his song, and is is over. He's over because he's harmless. Our truth was a world champion. He's a world champion. You wouldn't know it though. You wouldn't know it. Um Crime Time, even down in NXT, the out the mud, all the, the black men have to be thugs, pimps, or or fucking cucks. That whole thing with Bobby Lashley, um, Rusev, and Lana was absolutely fucking egregious. I'm never going to forget. That opened up the biggest stereotype in America that got so many black men murdered. When you have the white woman seeming as if she's being blacked, quote unquote, y'all was blacked and brazzers and, and she getting fucked by this big giant black man. That storyline was absolutely ridiculous. And don't forget it ended with Liv Morgan was supposed to be a, a lesbian lover of Lana. Child, I don't know who even wrote that shit. But back to MVP. So, he has a lot of valid points. When I remember when um, the Hurt Business was on TV, I loved it. I, I, I thought they looked good. I thought it was a great representation of black men. It was going in a different direction. They were dominating just from being on TV. They didn't even have to really say nothing. They came out, this is what we're going to do, go out, do work. That was it. Put their suits on. Once they start putting the suits on and looking like something... It rubs somebody wrong in the back. Like, oh, no, no. We can't have them black men out there looking like that. That rubs somebody wrong. So, when we brought up, when they brought up the, the, the Triple H thing, somebody went ahead 
and wanted to go ahead and ask Booker T his thoughts. Y'all want to know what Booker T said? That was WrestleMania 19, okay? Those undertones weren't seemingly racist. They was bold in your face. Booker T said, hopefully they could work out the situation. I don't know. I just think that stuff like that needs to be handled behind closed doors. No matter who says stuff like that. I've said that many, many times about certain things as far as business goes. Business is not something we handle over the internet. It's just not. Business is something we handle behind closed doors from a business perspective. That's just me. And I just, hopefully, that's where they end up at the end of the day. Booker T is always going to be diplomatic. He's still getting paid by the WWE. Booker T comes from very humble beginnings the man went to jail he he always says he got a leg up somebody helped him and gave him the opportunity these people help him feed his family he met his beautiful wife the business has given booker t so much and we always look to booker t because he unk now he unk we look to booker t to see if he gonna stand up and make a stand say something booker t ain't never gonna do it he ain't gonna do it and it's funny because i'm gonna talk about who killed WCW? He was real vocal about that for some fucking reason. But I could dig it, right? I will agree that some things need to be taken care of. But MVP, apparently, according to these texts, have already sat down and did business on the back end. So now he wants to bring it to the front. I'll say this and I'm going to wrap it up. Points were made. I see it. I see what's going on. I even say it when it comes to the ladies. There's not enough representation. At one point, it was just Bianca on the main stage. Even Bianca said, I'm relieved that some of the weight has been lifted off my shoulders with um, uh, the Jay Cargill and Naomi here now. I'm not the only one no more. And that's just absolutely fucking crazy. Um, MVP. Be careful when you rally the troops on the internet. It's a lot of incels. It's a lot of you know, um, fakers and impersonators on the back end. The manosphere is not somebody you want to get behind you. Your grievances are valid, but you don't want it to become some type of culture war. And that's what it's a, it's a very good conversation that needs to be had. And everybody sees it. Even the ones that will deny it. That's not true. We don't want it to become a culture war. Okay. So be mindful when you're rallying the troops and you come in the poor folk and you come in the layman's and asking them for support for your cause. You'll get the support, but you want the right support. So if you made it this far, y'all, y'all tell me what y'all think about MVP and the Hurt Business. It'd be fantastic if the Hurt Business come. But I also noticed that y'all want Carmelo Anthony and Trick Williams and Wesley and all the black people to just be bunched. That is a problem in itself, people. That's a problem in wrestling, period. You can't put all the Mexicans, all the Latinos, all the, the everybody. You can't do that. There's no reason why it can't be a multicultural group of people. But we'll, we're going to leave it right here. I don't want to go too far with this. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comments.